Okay, so I've got a, this is a York Diamond 90 furnace, and my capacitor has uh, gone out on my furnace. Um, blower motor inside here, you can see it is a GE capacitor, 97F, 9121. And I bought on Amazon a capacitor replacement that works with this model. It is a multi-purpose 370 or 440 um, volts AC capacitor. You can see my capacitor is in here. We definitely need to make sure that we short circuit the, um, the capacitor terminals to make sure that it's dead before we do anything. I'm going to videotape the process here so you can see what I am doing. Hopefully I can get this in here so you can actually see this I'm doing. Put this up. I'm going to use my phone light also to show you the uh, use my phone light there at the same time. You should be able to see this okay. Just like this. I found out that the capacitor was going out because it was not starting. The unit was not starting. Uh, the fan was just kind of going rrr, rrr. So I kind of knew that uh, things were going and not going properly, or that was not running properly. So I am going to put on some gloves here. Got an insulated screwdriver. We're going to discharge this new capacitor to make sure that I've got nothing in here. I doubt that it's live anyway, but you can see I've got my capacitor inside here, inside. Here, I'm going to cross the two terminals to make sure that they are good and dead. And there is nothing, they're good and dead. So, that capacitor is good to touch. Now, unfortunately, this other capacitor that's in here is going to be live, and I've got to try to get that out. Um, I have to try bolting the thing, and I cannot get a... Uh, anything really in there to get that uh, bolt off uh, that's attached to this fan casing. So I'm going to need to just take this out completely. off, keeping track of which direction they are in. I'm not touching anything. They're in the process. So we now have it discharged. I'm going to take this, touch them sure it is dead and they are good and dead so we're now done with that capacitor checking out these terminals here We've got two terminals I'm going to attach to the new capacitor figure out how we're going to get those on See that we have capacitor here. New one. Going to attach. Oops, sorry guys. Bring those leads down. Attaching that lead back onto there. Attach the other lead. And bring down my rubber isolation. 
sure it has a pr proper name. Don't know what it is. Insulation. To make sure that those sparks can fly. And those terminals are not touching anything. Which it is on the outside. We do not want that on the outside. Okay, there we go. Now we just gotta get it all the way snug on there. I think we're good now. The gas, I'm gonna put that on there. You can see how we've got that on there right now. Take off my gloves and zip tie this thing to uh, the purpose of zip tying it is to keep this thing from vibrating off you do not want that vibrating off I can get my hands around here it is not You don't know those pliers, and see if I pull that a little bit tighter. That's the way it is right now. There we go. It is on there, and that is how we change that capacitor. So at this point in time, I'm going to uh, turn the power back on, and uh, we should be good to go. So that is how we change that capacitor.